Hello, this is a review of the Osiri wine accessory set that we see here. And it comes in the box that you see right here. And then inside the box is the actual accessory set. Now it is a matte finish with a slightly rubbery feel uh, with their logo on it and some hinges. So we can open it up and obviously you just find the side that it opens from. And inside you get all of your tools. So let's take a closer look at them. So of course you get a wine stopper so you can put in the bottle when you're not currently using it. Um, it's not a vacuum seal or anything like that, um, but it's obviously just a traditional wine stopper uh, to be able to put it in. You have a drip stopper right here. Um, these fit fairly snugly inside here, but you can definitely put them back. So you have your, um, your material in here to catch wine drips. So let's go ahead and put that back. Then we have our pourer or um, aerator as well. So this obviously just goes in the mouth of the bottle and can service as a pouring device if you like to help prevent drips as well. Um, and inside here this will help do the aerating um, as well so you can obviously take that out and just use the pourer if you like or you can go ahead and put that, put that on in. Then you have the actual corkscrew for getting it out. Um, traditional corkscrew, um, pretty sharp tip by the way. And you got a little knife here for cutting cutting foil, as you can see there. Um, the knife feels, I mean it's not razor sharp and I'm not cutting my thumb um, or anything like that. So you could always sharpen more if you so chose. Um, and this of course isn't razor sharp either, it's just, um, it's not necessarily dull, but I'm not hurting my hands by touching that. So let's go ahead and fold this back up. This is pretty stiff by the way, both of them. So I mean, you see how I'm trying to pull it with one hand. Um, it's fairly stiff, but it doesn't open up um, too easily, um, but it's a little bit stiff. Um, and when you push them back in for the ones that don't quite fit the same way, you gotta um, orient it just right to um, get them back in. It's really not a problem, but you can see to fit within the, the foam, it takes a little bit when it's in the odd shape versus the things that are just a simple straight shape. And then lastly, you have um, this device here for um, cutting foil around the top of a, a bottle as well. So you put it on, rotate it around. And when you're all done, just close it on up and you can put it on a shelf or put it, store it with the rest of your wine bottles. So we can take a closer look at how it stays closed. If we open it up, there's two things going on in here. One, you have little magnets here and on the other side, and you'll have the same down at the bottom. Um, and also you have little plastic protrusions that stick out there that will go into a receptacle over here. So combined between the two, they close and up together. Now you can still kind of see a little air between, so it's not like it's going to completely close, but you just give it another squeeze and it'll go even more, but that's not really a material difference. Let's take a closer look at it for its pluses and minuses of this before we look at it versus its alternatives. So first of all, the matte finish. Now I think the matte finish is fine, it can match the look of some bottles, but overall it doesn't quite match the glass finish of a lot of other bottles. So if you're looking for it to seamlessly blend in to your existing wine collection and in a wine rack, it's going to stand out a little bit more. Um, but if you're looking at it from this end, it might not be as noticeable if it's only just the end sticking out. So the other thing to mention is the rubbery feel again. So it has this rubbery texture and it doesn't feel as sleek as a nice flat um, finish like glass, of course. Um, it kind of, the rubbery feel is what it makes it feel cheaper than anything else. Um, other things like, you know, did you really need it to be the precision or is it okay that you can see a little bit through the crack? I per think it's just fine for my home use. Um, on the end up here, you can see that it, you know, the precision of where it lines up at the crack on the top is a little bit different. You know, it doesn't perfectly latch up. So um, that's why I'd say I like it. I don't love it because it doesn't completely match um, mesh, but functionally speaking, I think it's great. I prefer to be able to just put this whole bottle on my wine rack and open it up and grab two of these together. So I grab a bottle of wine, grab a bottle of this, rather than having to go grab one bottle and walk through my house and go find this guy. So this is my other alternative here. I just stuff this on top of my fridge, but then I gotta go find that separate than this. So with this, I really like that it can stand 
It can sit in a wine rack just with the rest of your bottles. Um, I think that's really ideal from a uh, usability perspective is that I can just store this with my wine, whereas my wine racks don't handle a box such as that. But let me be clear about the material. It's largely going to be a preferential choice. Now it is definitely nicer than if it were just plastic exterior, so it's a step above that. I just think it would have been nice if it were a uh, metal or a glass exterior that would be, seem a little bit more elegant, but again, just preference. By the way, the rubbery texture is going to be a little bit prone to picking up some dust around. So what I was doing here is rolling it on the table, and you can see how it picks up a ring from where it comes into contact with the table if your table's a little bit dusty. So just be aware of that. Obviously, it, you can wipe it off. Now let's compare with other wine accessory sets. Now, uh, the benefits of this, again, is this. I love that just fits like a normal bottle rather than a box that I have to store somewhere else um, so that it stores with my wine. That's the tremendous advantage of this, and it's a more complete set than that my particular other one. Um, not that you couldn't find other accessory sets that come in nice boxes of other kinds. So go ahead and open up these two. Now, to be fair, this one here is an approximately $20 uh, wine accessory set that I had on the right, which will contrast with the bottle we have on the left. So um, the things I'll mention is compare the similar things. So let's go ahead and compare the two foil cutters that we have here. Now the one that comes with the Osiri set is a little bit more plasticky than the one that came with my other set that I have here. So it's a very subtle difference and only an aesthetic difference. It's one thing that made the Osiri set feel a little bit cheaper than my other alternative. So next up, let's go ahead and talk about the actual corkscrews. So, cause this is a significant difference. Now, honestly, you can, the difference between functional styles of different corkscrews. Now this one you could slip in your pocket. This is the only one that actually would fit in a bottle like this. So um, there's simple usability differences of being able to tote this tiny little guy around um, versus this big guy. In terms of actually opening a bottle of wine, I personally much, much prefer a this handy little tool that we have here. So when you have a tool like this, all you do is you open this up, clap it around the top of your bottle, you know, flip this back up, and when you when you go ahead and push it down, it will, um, it just drills the cork right in, and then when you pull it up, it magically pulls the cork right back out of the bottle, and voila, it was just like a pump, quick pump operation, and that thing sucks the cork right out of a bottle. So this is tremendously easy. If you have any problems opening bottles of wine, I mean, of course, it's meant for something like that. Um, that is obviously a very different than this, which is more of a traditional style of opening wine where you, you know, you go ahead and um, stick this out, wind this all the way into the cork, put this down, and ratchet it out. But if you're looking for something that is super convenient to store, um, this was by far easier to store than um, the box here because this I can store on my wine rack with the rest of, rest of my wine. The rest of the accessories I think are constructed very well um, in my mind. So this was the only slightly cheap feeling accessory. Um, I really liked the the feel and look of the rest of the accessories. Now this isn't this is a really light piece. Um, the metal on the outside seems very thin, but the material on the inside seems very nice. The the material that the corkscrew is made out of is quite heavy um, relative to the other items. This one seems like a solid built um, piece of. Um, one of the items in here. Um, and this guy here has some really good weight to it. The materials of this one, let's take a closer look. This one's going to be light, but not too light, again. Um, it's more of the material that we saw out of this guy, um, but it's a little bit heavier um, down on this end here. So in the end, I think it's great for functionality to be able to just set it wherever I want, store it with my existing wine, and have my entire set on hand and fitting in within this bottle. I find it more convenient than having to stuff something else, pull that out from on top of my refrigerator, or figure out which drawer I stuffed it in. This just stays with my wine. Functionally speaking, I think that's great. The rest of it comes down to preference and the wide variety of different kinds of construction materials and the different costs of the differences that you could buy if you bought each of these individually or from significantly more expensive sets or are just functionally an entire different beast of a um, item where it's just hardly comparable. It's a good functional set that's a great functional use that fits with the rest of your wine. Thanks for watching the review.